Hello. So I just wanted to do a, a how-to video on how to uh, post midterm grades. So for any adjuncts or any, any other uh, people that may need to know how to do this, right? Um, so let me go ahead and walk you through this. So what you need to do is you need to go to your MyTVCC login, okay? And the MyTVCC login is available on, let me just back up just a little bit, right? So we, we're, this is the main web page for the, for the college, uh, www.tvcc.cc, right? And you go to MyTVCC here, and that'll take you to your MyTVCC login. So the login is up on the top right. You're gonna wanna put in your ID, num ID and your password, and uh, click login. And then you're gonna go to faculty, okay? So under faculty, you're going to be able to uh, see your classes here. So if we're getting later into the term, beyond advising and that type of a thing, uh, typically the next term will show up, right? Not the current term. So if you're doing current term grades, then what you can do to flip over is you can hit uh, view details here and you're gonna to wanna to select the correct term. So we're in fall term now, and so if I was gonna to wanna to go in and do fall term grades, I can do that and hit search. And then my fall term classes are gonna come up. And then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to go to the class that I wanna put uh, grades in for. So let's say, for example, I wanna to go to uh, BA 280, Cooperative Work Experience, and I'm going to do uh, BA 280 03. Right, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna, in the select area, I'm gonna go ahead and select grade entry. So the grade entry will take me to uh, this screen where uh, I can enter grades in, right? So I've already entered grades in for this student, but I'm gonna walk you through what it would look like if you wanted to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here you can, if most of your students in your class are passing, then you can go ahead and you can enter in a default grade. So you can put S in for the default grade, right? Which means satisfactory. For midterm, you only have the option of doing satisfactory or unsatisfactory. And so we can do satisfactory and then you can click this set default grade and it'll go ahead and line out S's for all of your students, okay? Um, and then you're going to uh, you're going to need to come down and to the bottom of the student list and click save, right? So uh, then once you do that, it's going to update. So you you cannot change grades through this system. You can only enter initial grades. To change the grade, what you need to do is you need to get a change grade form and uh, and submit that. So if you accidentally, if you make a mistake here and you're like, oh, I was, I put a wrong grade in, you can go and get the grade change form and fill that out and you need to send that to your department chair and the department chair will then send it on to the vice president of academics and then it'll hit the, uh, it'll go on then from there to the registrar's office to be recorded. So, so anyway, so that, that's midterm grades and final grades. You're gonna do this both for midterm and final grades. For final grades, of course, you're gonna have a larger selection of grades to choose from, right? Depending on your grading uh, setup. Uh, a couple of things to note, right? For final grades, you can also, if there's a student that never connects with the class, never does participation, um, then you can click FN. FN will allow you to give them a failing grade and it will tell the registrars and financial aid and everybody that they never attended class. They never received participation and then that's something that they, they can then act on their side. F is for the student that fails the class that actually did engage and attend the class. And if you give a failing grade, an F for a class, you're gonna to want to make sure to know when that student disengaged from the class. What date was their last engagement, their last login to Canvas, their last um, assignment they submitted, the last test or quiz they took. That last grade 
or that last time that they inter uh, interface with the class is the, the date you're going to want to put in uh, if you give them a failing grade. Sometimes I have students that fail, which is kind of sad, that actually end up going through the class and taking the final, right? So they just did not uh, pass the class, they got an F, and that last date that I put in there for their F will be the date that they took the final. So um, anyways, uh, hopefully this helps. If you have any more questions, then let me know. And I'm more than willing to help you. Thanks. Bye.